they said I changed. Maybe they were just jealous because they didn't change. Maybe they were ashamed because they didn't change. Maybe they were disappointed in themselves that they remained the same. <laughs> yeah, I changed. Like anyone with ambition will remain the same. Yeah, I changed. I changed everything but my name. I wasn't born a miracle to be average. I have absolutely no desire to fit in. No desire to conform to anyone's wishes. But I have every desire within myself to improve myself. Every day. Every hour. Every minute. They'll say you didn't have enough time for them. <laughs> well, maybe they weren't worth your time. They laughed at my dreams and my goals. <laughs> well, maybe they were embarrassed because they didn't have any. Maybe their dreams were really nightmares. Maybe their lives was really just a horror story. They said that I was arrogant. Maybe they just hated my ambition. Maybe they were too ashamed because they had none themselves. Maybe I reminded them of what their weakness is. They said I wouldn't make it to the top. Listen, they said I couldn't make it full stop. They said I would fail, that I would fall, that, that, that no one would believe in me. They gave me so many reasons. But they forgot to ask about my desire. They never asked about my willingness to sacrifice. They never asked if I was willing to do whatever it took to make it. Maybe if they did, they would have kept quiet. Or maybe they wanted to ensure they had someone to sit with them at the bottom of the mountain. You know, with the majority of the people that didn't put in the work. Those who didn't have the courage, those who didn't have the drive, those who didn't have the will or the passion to fight for their dreams, to sacrifice, or even to conquer. Maybe they were afraid because they didn't have what it takes. What it takes to keep up with my drive, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my passion. You know, they say that you'll never make time for them. Well, maybe you only make time for the people that are worth your time. And since there's a lack of those type of people, maybe they're not that type of person. You know, somebody once told me, it's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you're not. You know, it's better to walk alone and be successful than to walk with those that are wandering aimlessly through life and end up in the middle of nowhere. But it's okay, because when my circle got smaller, my drive got bigger. When my circle got smaller, my vision got larger. When my circle got smaller, my circle got stronger. The proof is always in the pudding. You can't fake results. I move on without them. I know I'm stronger. I know I'm better. I know that I'm greater. Without them, it's a blessing. Without them, I keep on growing, moving forward. I'm constantly on the move without them. You're not a puddle. Stop letting them walk all over you. You're not a doormat. Stop letting them wipe their dirt on your face. You're not below them. Don't let them look down on you. Listen, stand tall, walk strong, and hold your own. Listen to me. There is no one above or below you. There is no one that is superior or inferior to you. You must always remain hungry. Don't ever, ever lose your passion or your compassion. Listen to me. You have enormous drive, but don't lose your humility. Put yourself in their shoes, but don't live in them. Live your life. Let them live theirs. Go after your dreams and let them decide their own fate. You said that I would never make it in life. You said I would fail. You said that I would humiliate myself. I didn't have it in me. I was no good. I wouldn't succeed. You said I was weak. You said I was not strong. I guess they didn't know what I knew. That I would make it, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely.